Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to easily get the gold assault rifle on Splitgate. If you learned anything new in this video, a like rating is always appreciated. We're also on our way to a thousand subs, and I'll be running two giveaways when we hit that huge milestone, so feel free to subscribe if you want to see more in-depth guides in the future. If you're interested in other gold gun guides, I'll have a link to that playlist in the description below and at the end of this video. If anything in this video changes, I'll try to keep it updated with a pinned comment down below. Alright, so the AR is one of the basic guns in the game that you start with in almost every game mode. It's a fully automatic rifle that deals 13 damage to the body and 18 to the head. This means that it takes 8 shots to get a kill, but you can make that a 7 shot kill with just 2 headshots. The AR is one of the few guns that does have damage drop offs at certain ranges though. At 20 meters, this drops down to 12 damage to the body and 17 to the head. This brings it up to 9 hits to get a kill that can also be reduced to an 8 shot kill with just 2 headshots. And at 40 meters, it drops down to 11 damage to the body and 15 to the head. This brings it up to a 10 hit kill that can be reduced to a 9 shot kill with just one headshot. So headshots are pretty helpful with this gun if you are able to hit them. Unfortunately, this gun has a decent amount of recoil which makes it harder to get those headshots at longer ranges. The fast rate of fire does make it pretty forgiving if you do end up missing shots though. The best way to use this gun is at close to medium range. Alright, so to see your current progress towards the next tier of each challenge, you can go to the challenges tab then select the AR from the list of guns at the bottom. The challenges you need to complete for the gold camo on the AR are 1000 kills, 50,000 damage, 100 headshots, 150 double kills, 200 kills through portals, and 15 kills in a single match. Remember, some of these challenges have multiple tiers as you can see by looking at the number of stars at the bottom. If you want to see every tier individually, then you can see that by scrolling through the camos of each gun in the locker. This is nice if you just started going for gold on a gun and want to see how many overall kills you need for the final tier of each challenge. Alright, so the challenges for getting kills, inflicting damage, getting headshots, and getting 15 kills in a single match should happen pretty easily just by using the gun normally. By the time you get 1000 kills, you should have gotten all these other challenges just by simply playing the game. Team Deathmatch, King of the Hill, Domination, VIP, Team Oddball, Showdown, and Takedown all count towards your challenge progress. One nice thing is that you start out with the AR as a loadout weapon in all of these game modes. Most Rumble game modes also count, but the only one where you get enough kills to be worth playing for camo challenges is Teabag Confirmed. The challenge for double kills is a bit more difficult and a lot of people have to completely change their playstyle to grind the portal kills. Of course, you should have some sort of progress towards both of these challenges, but if you want to go for the gold camo, then you want to grind them out as quickly as possible. There are actually a couple of ways to set yourself up to get double kills more consistently. The first is to kill people in the more popular areas of the map. A good way to do this is to kill people around corners or in small areas since the AR has a fast time to kill up close. Another way is to set up a portal behind common enemy locations where you can just shoot through it with little risk that you actually get killed yourself. This is also a great way to get portal kills. Since the AR is a close to mid range weapon, remember to set yourself up for more close range possibilities to take full advantage of the time to kill. My last suggestion for double kills is to actually play the takedown game mode. For those of you who aren't aware, takedown is a 3v3 game mode on small maps where you try to wipe the entire enemy team at the same time. The respawn timer gets longer with each death and as long as one teammate is still alive, the round keeps going. This leads to a lot of working together and engaging in team fights, which leads to a lot of double kills. Fun fact, getting two assists may look like it counts as a double kill because you do get the double kill medal at the top of your screen, but you actually need to get at least one of the kills for the double kill to count towards the camo challenge. You can get a kill and an assist in any order and it will still count. And of course, two full kills counts towards the challenge as well. Alright, so for the portal kills, you obviously need to shoot through a portal to get the kill. This doesn't just have to be your portal though, you can get kills through teammate or enemy portals too. In case you didn't know, your crosshair will turn red when you look at an enemy through anyone's portal. Enemy portals will also start to blink whenever an enemy is on the other side of it. So you can use both of these things to help locate and kill enemies through their own portal. For that same reason, you also want to make it so that you're difficult to hit through your own portal. I suggest putting one portal either behind an enemy spawn or somewhere up high with a good view of an open area. This will make it less likely that enemies will destroy your portal or even see it. All the tips I'm about to give are to make it so that your hitbox is smaller when an enemy is looking at your portal so you have less chance of getting killed through your own portal. For the portal that you look through, put it higher up on the wall. This makes it so that only your waist and up can be hit through the portal so you have a smaller hitbox that's also lower to the ground. As long as you don't have to look too far down, you can also crouch so that the only thing visible is your head at the very bottom of the portal. You can also take a step back and strafe back and forth so that you're a smaller, further away target and always moving. Fun fact, moving while crouched also makes it so that you don't appear on enemy minimaps. Once you finish all the challenges, you unlock the gold camo and can equip it in your locker. The gold in this game isn't too flashy, but it is definitely one of the more difficult mastery camos to get compared to other games out there since these double kills can take quite a long time. If you're looking for gold guides on other Splitgate weapons, check out that playlist in the description below and at the top right of the screen right now. And if you're under level 10, feel free to use my referral code to get us both 50 free split coin once you do hit level 10. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in future guides in the comment section down below.
Honestly, I think some of the other camos do look better, but I will be rocking gold for now just to show off this tough accomplishment. If you found any part of this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see more in-depth guides in the future. I stream on YouTube almost every day and post important news on Twitter. Check the description below for all my socials. Alright, that's all I got. I'll see you guys next time.